Friday is opening day at Snow Bowl. But before you hit the road for the high country, are you prepared for that? Yeah, Team 12's Matt Eros joins us from ADOT with some winter driving tips. So Matt, do we really need the snow chains if we're heading into snow country? <laughs> Good question, Rachel. I'm going to leave that for the professional here, here in the valley. Not quite used to snow, but of course, you don't have to go too far north. I am joined by Doug Nick, ADOT spokesperson. First question for you. Do you really need chains if you're heading north and into the snow? Uh, you might. I mean, that, that's the, the thing about this is if you're going to go up into the snow, be prepared and take a look at what the forecast looks like. And if you hear that uh, the, the law enforcement folks are saying you need uh, snow tires or chains, then obviously you will need to be prepared for that. And which brings us to our point of if you really don't need to travel in, in weather like that, then, then delay travel if at all possible. And if it's going to be that kind of weather where there's snow tires or chains, you might want to think about just waiting a while until our guys can get out there plow the, the highways, the roadways, and make sure that everything is safe for you to travel. If it's a must or you're just going to do the dumb thing because you're young, what should you bring in the car before you head out? Well, you really should be prepared. Be smart. Uh, have things in the vehicle that like your uh, fully charged cell device, uh, some blankets, water, uh, maybe some food, just in case, because we have had incidents over the past where people got into a situation where they were stuck in, in a place where they weren't really able to get out for a while. So having those things like blankets and so forth, uh, something to communicate with the outside world, is let people know you're okay or that you do need, do need help or whatever the case may be. It's just good common sense to be prepared. And of course, wear proper clothing, all those good things. Don't just just go out on, on the spur of the moment without thinking about where you're going and what you're doing. I want to get to this pretty sweet piece of machinery behind us, yeah. the snow plow. You've got a camera now on the dash that you're going to be using. That's going to be a pretty cool feature for everybody involved. Right. We've added a, a new feature this year, some live stream cameras that uh, will go into some of our cabs here. And what that will do is allow our uh, maintenance and, and operations personnel throughout the state to take a look at what's going on in real time with these uh, plows that are equipped and uh, and just deploy the resources uh, as wisely as possible to where they're most uh, most needed and see how, how conditions are really in real time. So it's uh, we're always looking for ways to improve and get better information information about the condition of the roadway so that we can uh, get the information out to the public so we have people who are driving in safe conditions. Thank you very much. With Doug out here at ADOT's office checking out the snowmobiles, we're live for today in AZ.